Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. All right, so this is for all Geminis, guys. Uh, I don't need to say sun, moon. This is for all Geminis. If you have Gemini in your chart, you are welcome here. Uh, also, cross watchers are welcome. Who's dealing with the Gemini? Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, guys. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, so let's see what messages come out from my Geminis. Keep in mind that I always pre-shuffle and meditate over your readings. And so, Gemini, what I was getting during meditation of your reading, it was really quiet at first. And then I heard all the eyes on Gemini. Okay, so you're being watched, Gemini, in a sense that the moves that you're making, so this could be via social media or whatever. Um, it, feel, it also felt like an ex energy is here, like there's an ex that is watching you, um, watching your social media, watching you come up, watching you do your thing. Um, but yeah, and it's like all eyes on Gemini. And you may not be aware of that but yeah that's what i was getting so we'll see what comes out for you all right the first card that came up is gamble and look like just, like i just flipped secret of my ear what did i say there's someone watching jim and i okay um the key to my heart they feel like you have the key to their hearts Okay, so it could be something about the feminine energy here that's coming out. The feminine energy may want to speak out. Uh, um, the feminine energy, somebody could be your secret admirer. Or perhaps you're the secret admirer. But it does feel like a past person. What did I say? Um, round and round is here. So it does feel like this past energy is here. Rose-colored glasses and loyalty is on the bottom of the deck. And then we have apologies coming in. So, yeah, I, I really do feel like this is a past person person who's watching you. Um, you and this person may have recently reunited well, round and round here. I feel like this is a cycle that you've been on before, Gemini. All right, so that's the vibe that I'm getting. When I cut the deck, we have the death card and the two of cups. So a soulmate connection that is transforming or there's a death of something. So whatever it is, it does feel like a gamble with this gamble card coming out. Like you're rolling the dice or somebody may be rolling the dice to try to come back in because they realize you have the key to their heart. All right, so let's see. Let's see what comes out for my Gemini's pertaining to this situation. All right, so that's the vibe I'm getting, guys. This cannot and will not resonate with every single person. But don't forget, Gemini's, to check, to check other signs in your chart. Okay, so let's see. Messages for my Gemini's. Messages for my Gemini's. What is the most important message pertaining to this situation that Gemini? Okay. All right, so guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. At the center of your reading, we have the emperor. Okay, so we have Aries energy. Okay, it's coming out with the five of swords. Okay, so somebody is standing on their betrayal. They're admitting to that. So if this person hurt you, this is why it feels like a gamble. You may be standing your ground with this person. Uh um. This person is standing on the decisions that they made that got them to the point where it feels like it has to be a gamble to take another cycle with them. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at the crossing energy. Yeah, look at that. The Ten of Swords. They hurt you so bad. They betrayed you. It was something that you found out about, about this person. Okay. Some of you guys, this started out hot and heavy, and then this person hurt you. But there's that offer, but it's coming with a lot of hurt. That's why it feels like a gamble, okay? Um, it does feel like something solid that they're wanting to do, 
um, with the Ace of Pentacles here, something tangible. So they may come in and want to take you out on a date. They may pay you some money back that they owe you. They're coming in with something um, that feels very tangible, okay? I feel like because this person hurt you in the past, Gemini, you're more focused on your stability. You're more focused on your work. You're more focused on opportunities that are going to bring you those pentacles, that money, okay? Um, we have fives repeating because I see on, on the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands, then we have the five of swords, so we have five, five. Anytime you see fives repeating, it's all about change. It's all about welcoming in that change. Something new I just heard, okay? So we have the mother of cups here coming out with the five of um <clears throat> with the five of wands so this right here tells me that you're very confused about whether or not you want to accept an offer from this person or trust this person or somebody is just all up in their head this could also be the past issue with it coming out with these two cards um it, there was a lot of disappointment a lot of drama uh, particularly in the past which caused the hurt um i feel like you were <clears throat> very nurturing to this person and it took a while for you may still be trying to get over this because the ten of swords is here i just feel like this person hurt you okay and something had to be rebuilt after that with the ten of swords and the ace of pentacles you may have to rebuild yourself back up feminine energy all right so recent past we have the sun of pentacles so reuniting Okay, it's been a long time with the Sun of Pentacles here. This is that slow moving energy that comes in, but they do want to offer you something solid. And it's coming out with the Mother of Wands. They're watching you. You're their secret, you know, they're secretly admiring you because you're the Mother of Wands. You're mystical. You're beautiful. Physically, you're beautiful, Gemini. Okay, they find you very beautiful. You're passionate. Okay, um, you're very protective over um, the things that you feel are important. And for a lot of you guys with the Sun Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles, it took you a long time. Yeah, you had to rebuild yourself to, to love again with the Mother of Cups here. And you finally got to a place after a long time where you're realizing that you have to be protective over certain things, particularly your energy. Protective. You see how that snake is over her eggs? A lot of you guys are protective over your children right now. You're protective over whatever this Ace of Wands is because that's what I'm feeling with that there. It's taking you a long time to get back to where you feel like, um, some of you guys, it's took a long time to get back to where you felt sexy again after this person broke you down. Okay. So what's in the thoughts? The moon card, Pisces energy, and the eight of wands. Somebody secretly wants to reach out to you. Okay. Secret admirer. They thinking about, what did I say? All the eyes are on you. This person is thinking about you. They want to secretly reach out to you. They're doing a lot in secrecy, okay? So not a lot of action. It's a very slow moving action. They do want to, but they realize that they effed up, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the near future. We have the Sun of Cups. Okay, there's that action. It's coming, Okay. In the near future, the Sun of Cups and the Five of Cups. It's too much. They're having too much regret, too much remorse to not reach out to you. Okay. They're thinking about you too much. Um, they have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, a lot of crying over spilled milk. With these Five Cups and that One Cup, that makes the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is about the past person. So here comes this past person. They're coming. Okay. Sun of Cups is the Knight of Cups. So a date they want to take you on a date if this person hasn't already reached out to you for a lot of you this person hasn't reached out to you yet um they're coming in to ask you on a date okay they're coming in to um ask you to spend some time with them they're also going to be showing some emotions okay so they they may be expression expressing how they regret what happened okay how they hurt you all right, so hopes and fears. 
Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And the Eight of Swords. All right. So um, some of you guys have money offers that you're trying to figure out that you're not for sure which way to go. Some of you guys have a, a, a family or um, some, some type of decision that you need to make towards your stability or towards your family's um, stability. Someone feels bound to um, creating stability with you or somebody just feels bound to um, you because you're so stable. Okay. There's also this hope of um, coming into some money opportunities of not being stuck in the same situation that you were before. Somebody has a fear of losing money or being in a position where they don't have money anymore. So I feel like somebody came from um, a very hard time financially. It could have been as a child or whatever. And somebody is still thinking, I can never go back to that. I never want to go back to that. I have to do better. Okay, so you are your person. Finances could be affecting the situation. Um, all right, so let's take a look at what's external to you, to your situation, to this person. All right, we have the Son of Wands. Okay. And we have the Son of Swords. So there they go spying. All right. This person is definitely like um, what the Son of Wands here. They're spying on you, but... They're also doing their thing. This is quite the ladies, man. Okay. We have a lot, like all of the um, the knights coming out. So while it's not the page, it's better than the page. Um, Son of Pentacles, Son of Cups, Son of Wands, Son of Swords. So it's the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. All of them is out here. Um, some of you, there's an age difference here, particularly with the Mother of Cups and the Mother of Wands. So the feminine energy could definitely be older than the masculine energy or even more mature. If not an age difference, you're just much more mature than the masculine energy. Um... It, there's this energy of a lot of movement wanting to come in. Again, this is external. This person gets around because there's a lot of action external to you, but they are spying on you with the Sun of Swords here. This person does make very uh, um, irrational decisions at times. They move before they think at times. Um but there's something, some type of action external to your situation that they're trying to do. Now, they are spying on you with the Sun of Swords here. Sun of Wands, again, this could be my player card. So I feel like this person is thinking about you, but they still have other things going on. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at how your person feels. We have the world card. Okay. So some type of completion, some type of new opportunity with you. This is that round and round. Okay, they want another opportunity with you, Gemini. All right, it could be some travel involved. You two may travel together or this person may live at a distance from you. But there is this cycle that their intuition is telling them about. It feels like their intuition is trying to draw them towards you with the high priestess here. Um, but again, no action really um, for some of you. It's coming in very quickly if it hasn't already. But with the high priestess here, the high priestess has her hand in the material world and the physical or the physical world and the spiritual realm also. So there is this connection that is coming out. Um, again, this is Pisces energy where this person is trying to draw you into their reality. Okay, so this person does want to draw you into their reality. They are trying to pull you into their reality Reality with the roll card here and round and round. They do want another cycle with you. This person realizes it was something different about you with key to my heart. Okay, but it feels as like they really did hurt you. They did a number. Now they're sitting back watching having a front row seat of your come up. 
All right, so let's see how you feel in Gemini. Six of Wands, you're feeling victorious. And with this butterfly here, I feel like this is more a victory of yourself, of just how far you've came with that Son of Pentacles and that Mother of Wands, where you had to build yourself up. And I feel like that's why you feel like it's a gamble, because you came out of your cocoon, okay? You've blossomed and you've bloomed, and you had to get back to a better place. And you're thinking about that past person with the Four of Cups here, but you have other options too. Okay, you have other options, but you may be feeling like somebody is different with this four of cups here. You feel like there is a victory somewhere. So you could be feeling a victory towards this person. Some of you guys have moved on and you have victory somewhere else. This person with this high priestess here feel like you guys have a spiritual connection. You, this person may speak to you intuitively with that high priestess here. This person feels your energy. Okay, I was just drawn back to that high priestess. This person could be very intuitive or feel that you're intuitive, okay? You could definitely be dealing with the Pisces. All right, so let's look at the overall outcome. We have the lovers, all right? So there's that soulmate energy. This is that person saying, you are the key to my heart. You're my soulmate. But I do feel like, let's see, two of wands. Yeah, it's, it's in the future. If this comes together, we have two. Two is the number of partnership. So there is this potential. I do feel like someone does have a decision to make. Um, it does feel like a gamble to my Gemini's out there or to somebody. If this isn't your energy, it's your person energy. But Mother of Pentacles is here. It feels like um, something is going to get to stability. Mother of Pentacles, um, again, another queen. We have the Mother of Wands, the Mother of Cups, Mother of Pentacles, and then we have the Sun. So we have the queens and the knights coming out. I don't see any kings, okay? So there is this energy of an age difference or um, even a, a, a maturity difference. Death card six of um, pentacles is here also. So something is gonna shift, okay? Something is changing. And I feel like you've been changing, you've been transforming. And there's this energy that you only want people who uh, pour into you. You want only want people who are going to give you that balance in your life because you didn't go through this huge transformation. And I feel like I'm speaking to the feminine energy since you came out, masculine energy. And you know, in tarot, you don't have to have any um, masculine or feminine, feminine. But today I'm being guided to speak directly to the feminine and the masculine and what comes out. <clears throat> I usually don't. But today I am guided to do that. And the feminine energy, I feel like, is only putting energy into something that is going to pour into them. All right. And I feel like the masculine energy is on the same page. So I feel like this connection wants to get to something better. Daughter of Cups is here. So communication will come in. All right. You guys will be communicating that. All right. So let's see. Let's get some advice. All right, so I'm going to take this up and we're going to get some advice. All right, use this deck. What is the advice for my Geminis pertaining to this situation? What is the advice for my Geminis? Okay. We have Temperance, we have the Star card, we have the High Priestess, we have the Wheel, the Hermit, and the Chariot, Justice is on the bottom of the deck. All right, so Gemini, you have had to build yourself up after connections that broke you down after people that after people who hurt you and may have purposely tried to hurt you but people who broke your spirit people who tried to put you down but one thing about it G gemini you know how to turn water to wine okay with the temperance card here this is sagittarius energy you're on this new start you're on this new beginning okay and everything that you have learned from the past has brought you brought you to where you are today and you are the star this is why you have been watched you do not need to seek any advice um go within 
okay? Some of you guys have had to have counseling. It could have been from things from your childhood or things from certain relationships, but um, you are meant to be watched because there's something about you that is gonna draw people to you. And then we have the high priestess in the chariot. And some of you guys are thinking about relocating, thinking about moving with this chariot, but nothing is gonna stop you. You are moving forward to your justice and your intuition is telling you exactly what you need to do. We have Virgo energy, Aquarius energy, Pisces energy, Cancer energy, and Libra energy. Justice is here. This is your justice. Something is about to get better for you because you are making the right decisions. Yeah, a tower. You're making the right decision. If you feel like this is too much of a gamble to go back to, you're not doing it, okay? Because you've had to rebuild yourself too much to even go back to that. All right, so let's take a look at Romance Angel card for my Geminis. Romance Angel for my Geminis out there. Okay. That This came out in your pre-shuffle. Look at that. Release your eggs. You're not going, it's too much of a gamble to go back to this person at this time. Bottom of the deck, deception, okay? Someone is wearing a false mask. Um, it's time, the time has come to release that energy, all right? Look at the bottom of the deck, finance and career. Somebody, something to do with finances is coming out too. All right, so let's get a love letter card for my Gemini. What does Gemini person want them to know? What is Gemini person? Okay. We have a love like ours happens once in a lifetime. So yeah, this person realizing that, man, they can't get over you. Okay. They can't get over you. They messed up. They missed out. You mean the world to me. And we saw the world card. This person is feeling this way. Okay. Because I feel like they're feeling this way because they know that they're losing you. All right, Gemini, good luck. Those are your messages.